Hey guys, this is your Chester Weather Forecast for 2020 Tornado Season. Uh, this is the 2020 Tornado Outlook, and I'll talk about various colors and go month by month, uh, starting with March, since February is just about over. <coughs> now, for basics, orange means slightly above average tornadoes. Red means above average and basically quote-unquote guaranteed above average uh, tornadoes and gray means average or below average so if you're in the gray areas expect average or below average but right now we're looking at the 2020 tornado season to be above average potentially maybe like 1,300 to 1,500 tornadoes in the United States for 2020, including ones that happened in January and February. Um, but this is what we have so far, and this is March. You can see slightly above average tornadoes ranging from central Florida all the way up north to central Illinois, pretty much. Uh, but then you have above average tornadoes ranging from northeast Texas through parts of Oklahoma, much of Arkansas, much of Missouri and southern Illinois, along with skimming parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. Moving on to April is where things start kicking up a bit and things start really brewing, especially in the Gulf. <coughs> you can see slightly above average tornadoes anywhere from as far south as Texas, Florida, and as far north as South Wisconsin, South Michigan. Um, and a lot of major cities are in this, so like, you know, watch out. Just tornadoes are dangerous, so watch out. Make sure you have notifications on in case there is a tornado. Um, now red here, much of Texas, much of Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, parts of Missouri, far southern Illinois, parts of Kentucky, parts of Tennessee, all of Louisiana, all of Arkansas, all of Mississippi, and parts of Alabama are in the above average tornadoes. Now, these could still change as the month goes on, and I will start making severe weather outlooks in my monthly forecast. Um, so, yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Moving on to May is where things average out towards the Gulf, but things strengthen in the plains and Midwest. And May could be a really turnaround month for tornadoes. And by turnaround, I mean like big tornadoes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how to explain that. Uh, we'll start basic. There's a small region in California that's slightly above average tornadoes. So if you live in that orange region, watch out. Uh, but you can see here, slightly above average, anywhere ranging from Colorado through Pennsylvania and all of Michigan, not all of Michigan, parts of Michigan, uh, <coughs> and South Dakota, Michigan, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio, all those orange areas. But in the red, we have Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, Iowa, central to south Wisconsin, central to southern Wisconsin, central to northern Illinois, northern Missouri. It could be a very, 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 very active month for um, severe weather in the Midwest. Again, uh, I would say 90% guaranteed. Like, things could still change. June is where things still linger in the Midwest, but also in other areas. Slightly above average anywhere from Texas as far north as Montana and as far northeast as Maine. Uh, slightly above average tornadoes in New England in June. And you have this red region um, in the Midwest, Great Lakes, <coughs> parts of the plains is where you'll see above average. Now, I did include a small part of coastal Michigan in the red. Uh, just saying, I'm very, very uncertain about that part there. Um, but it could still happen. July is where things toned down a little bit for much of the region. You can see the slightly above average tornadoes ranging from California and north. And you can see much of the United States, like I don't even have to list all the states, but you can see this whole orange region is slightly above average. Now August is where things pick up in the Gulf again, uh, towards the Gulf, I should say. Uh, 
You can see orange everywhere, including New England, slightly above average tornadoes, but red in much of Texas, much of Oklahoma, parts of New Mexico, and another red region here in Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, North and South Dakota. September is where things again start cooling down. You can see it starts as a wide corridor and narrows down as it gets into Florida for a slightly above average tornadoes, including getting parts of Wisconsin, parts of Indiana, parts of Kentucky, Georgia, all in that. For October, um, this season, wait, was it? No, 2019. 2019, uh, my city had a tornado in October. Two tornadoes, actually. Well, in my area, not city. Um, like two very close tornadoes, and it happened in October around Halloween. And by around Halloween, I mean a couple days before Halloween. Then a couple days later, we got hit by a massive blizzard. So that's Wisconsin for you. Uh, but this year, we're not predicting as much as severe weather in tornadoes in October, except uh, in that red corridor from Texas, southern Oklahoma, parts of Louisiana, and Arkansas. November, things are starting to look, move into winter, I should say. Slightly above average in that orange region, and in the northwest, and December seem to be average. That's your trusted weather forecast for this monthly 2020 tornado outlook. This is a bit of a longer video, but I enjoyed it and I'll make updates. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Make sure to subscribe. Back to the video.